I recently had someone leave a comment asking how you can go about setting up multiple outs for drums within Falcon. And this individual is using Logic, Studio One, and Ableton. And while I don't have Logic or Ableton, we can take a look at this within Studio One and Bitwig. So let's quickly go ahead and take a look at that now. And we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna come over to the browser within Studio One and just click, hold, and drag our Falcon in. And then let's open up the mapping editor here. I'll come to my sample library and then let's come to our field sounds. I'll come to the sound iron and let's just work with some of the snares here. Now, once you've chosen the drum sounds that you'd like to use, you can drag those in one by one. But in this instance, I'm just going to click and select one and then hold shift to select a group here. And then before I drag these in, I'm gonna to come to the bottom right hand corner and click on the plus to expand out our view of the mapping editor and the keyboard down below here. We can see we have C3 there. So I'm gonna click hold and drag these while they're selected and just drag down so that I can place these consecutively on the keys here. So now we have each of these samples mapped. If I click on the key group, we can see the sample editor up above. These are then mapped out. And then if I trigger with my external controller, we can hear those being played back. And I'm gonna to come to the top right corner here and click on this MIDI icon. So now when I trigger, we can see that our sample editor is then going to automatically change its display to show which one was currently triggered. And if we go ahead and close out Falcon and let's open up the mix console within Studio, we could see that we have one channel that's been created and each of these are being sent out on this one channel. But this individual is interested in setting up a multi out for these drums. So we'll click on the icon here to open up Falcon again. And what we would need to do is, first we'll scroll over to view these. Uh, we can come to the list view here. And then at the bottom, we have our key groups. And you need to scroll over here. At the bottom, we have our scroll bar and we can see that all of these are being sent on the main out and we would like to have these go out on individual outs. So if I click on the second one here, then you can see everything is grayed out here. So within Studio One, what we would do is come up to the top here, and here we have our outputs. So if I click on that, I can then select two, out three, out four, out five. I actually can't remember how many samples I brought in or I don't know, but I believe it's about four or five. So we'll go ahead and activate those. Now, when we come back, we can see we have the option to send this to out two. Let's send this to out three, this one to four, and this one to five. So now when I trigger with my external controller and let's move our Falcon over, and we can see that once we activated these channels, they are now populated within our mix console. And when I trigger with my controller, we can see that these are now separated to different channels within our mix console. And this is gonna make mixing our drums a bit easier and applying different effects or sends to these sounds. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go about setting this up within Bitwig. Now within Bitwig, we're gonna start from scratch just as we did within Studio One. So if we come over to the right where the browser is, we can see Falcon up at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, hold and drag that in to our arrange view. And then what we would like to do is come to the sample library again, our drum samples, and we'll just go ahead and work with the same sound iron sample library. Let's expand that out. We'll come to the acoustic and our snares again. So here we'll go ahead and just click once to select a sample. And then I'm gonna hold shift to select this group. And let's come to the plus in the bottom right and expand that out. We can see C3 here. I'll click, hold, and drag those. Pull down to place these consecutively on the keyboard. Now we have these all mapped. So we can hear these being played back. And if I click on the MIDI icon here and then use my external controller, we'll see that our display here will then update to show 
the individual sample that's being triggered. Okay, so let's pull our Falcon over to the side. And what we wanna do is click on the mix panel icon here and we can see our channel for the Falcon. And then if I trigger again, we can see all of these are being sent out on this one individual channel. So as you can guess, we can come to the list view and then let's select the first one here and then scroll over. We can see they're all going to the main out. We'll leave the first one on the main out. The second one, let's send that out to two. Let's send this out to three this one to four, and this one to five. And if you notice, we're actually able to choose those directly within Falcon without clicking to set those up as we did within Studio One. But we do have an addi additional step that we need to take within Bitwig. So let's switch over to our device editor panel. And actually I wanna click here, and let's actually collapse out our browser. Now this represents our Falcon within the device panel. We can see that we have these double arrows facing to the right. And if we click on that, we can see that we can add missing chains or add chain. Now we have five different samples that we'd like to send out on discrete channels. So I'm gonna click on add chain. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll come over to this show plugin window and click on that. Let's pull our Falcon over to the side. And since we already set these up within our list view to be sent out on the discrete channels, these should play back on the discrete channel. So I'm gonna trigger with my external controller. And we can see the VU meters here or the level meters are active. for the individual samples. And if we go ahead and let's close out our Falcon, and I'm going to press tab to switch to the mix layout. And then up at the very top, we have these down facing arrows for our Falcon. And if we click on that, then we can see the individual channels that we've added. And then again, when I trigger with my external controller, we can see these are now being sent to separate channels, which we can add different effects to, adjust their panning, solo, mute, and whatever we'd like to do during our mixing process. So this is how you can go about setting up your drum samples to be routed to multiple outputs within Studio One and Bitwig.